clear indicator we committed to this, this is where we want to go. That has a whole bunch of implications on the construction industry around how do you procure IBTs because the systems are different, they perform differently. Some perform very well in some climatic zones, others don't perform that well. So how do you choose the right system? So we're going to look at that. Implications on your professionals who suddenly are now faced with a new technology. They're not detailing a building using bricks. They're using something else, so that's a bit of a challenge. Your building inspectors go onto a construction site and it's not a brick brick thing, it's suddenly a system. How do they know that the system is being done correctly? So a whole lot of, of institutional arrangements that need to be put in place to enable that to, to, to happen. It's really to push the technology levels in, in construction for a simple reason, is to improve building performance because we know we can get better e um, economics, we know we can deliver infrastructure sooner, quicker, we can get better quality, but the performance unit of, the performance of the unit itself in terms of thermal comfort levels for the students is going to be better. The heating and cooling loads are going to be better. The environmental performance is going to be better. So there's a whole bunch of related issues where we can see it's not just the industry that can improve, can benefit, but the actual end user.